hello welcome back to the channel and to Tokyo Japan the world's largest city by urban and metropolitan area I am so excited to start exploring what is a country that I have wanted to visit for a very long time I'm here on the terrace of the hotel that I'm staying at in an area called Asakusa it's currently dusk the sun is setting but before I get exploring some of this city's most exciting areas at night time I'm going to show you my room briefly so you can get a taste of what it's like here where I'm staying so this is the gate hotel Kaminarimon the gate hotel is a chain here in Japan and this one is located in Kaminarimon two chairs and a desk here bit of a view of the area outside and my first time seeing the classic Japanese robes that they always provide even though this is quite a modern hotel espresso maker by the TV very handy I like this light it's almost like an egg wardrobe and this is where things get exciting in Japan first time seeing the bathroom and the Japanese toilet which yes is very warm on the seat and the buttons are there to make things squirt and <laughs> whatever else a Japanese toilet does this is the bathroom here along with bathtub and the shower separate and the sink just here too with all the trimmings that you may expect this is the essential double room so for one of the most basic rooms in the hotel it packs a pretty good punch so the link for the gate hotel Kaminarimon is in the video description if you're interested they have other properties one in Kyoto also a couple more here in Tokyo and breakfast of course is included and the whole lounge reception with great views of the area the Tokyo sky tree behind me there fantastic place to say and a great introduction to Japan heading out onto the streets here in Asakusa I suppose the first thing that strikes you about Japan as soon as you arrive is just how clean it is I think perhaps on first impressions only Singapore might be able to compare it is immaculate bit of a queue for this place must be very popular wonder what it is I have no idea that is the Tokyo sky tree directly in front there and it is one of the best places to get views of Tokyo the entrance to Sensoji is here and already this is pretty cool to cross the street diagonally <laughs> later on we're going to head over to Shibuya the famous one the scramble crossing you can already see what I mean about how clean it is and this is the grand entrance to Sensoji Sensoji gets very crowded during the day especially on weekends so your best bet is to head here at night time and also to see it illuminated because it looks spectacular you'll get two wins from that however it's obviously not lit up just yet so I'm gonna wait a little while go for a wander and then we'll come back once they've turned the lights on So I was thinking of just walking around and showing you some of the streets but you know what I want to hit both Shibuya and Shinjuku tonight which is a lot and so I think now would best be used to grab some food and what better way to do it than to try ramen at Ichiran one of the most famous ramen chains in all of Japan let's check it out and have a proper
proper introduction. So it's not just like you sit down and take your food. No, you have to go to a machine, choose the ramen you want, and then take your ticket and go. All right, so let's start by pressing English. Classic tonkotsu ramen here. There aren't that many different choices, so let's just go with the standard one. It's only 980 yen. I think that'll do. Goes some cash. In the machine it goes. Simple as that. So you got your ticket and you thought that was it? No. You take one of these and <laughs> before the AC catches it, you have to choose your preferences. So let's go with a medium dashi richness. We want it to be rich, don't we? And let's go with half a clove of garlic. And what else? Definitely want my green onions on there. Chashu, sliced pork. Got to do it the authentic way. And spicy sauce. Let's go with mild. Noodles texture. I like them al dente. Arigato gozaimasu. Go to your order window. There we are. Ticket and preferences. Okay, so here we are. The Ichiran bowl right here looks so creamy and good. And I'll wait to dig in. So, from what I've heard, Ichiran is just a very good bowl of ramen for the price that you pay. Of course, there are going to be lots of very good ramen places all over the country. But if you're looking for a bowl that's less than a thousand yen, that is going to fill you up and uh, do the job, this is exactly what you'll find. So, I've just tasted the broth and it is it's really good. Also, fun fact about Japan, which you may not know, to slurp your ramen is acceptable. You'll hear lots of other people doing it and it's not frowned upon to really get stuck into your ramen and slurp the soup while you're scoffing noodles into your mouth. So it's something that is not taboo here. There are a lot of things that go against etiquette, but this isn't one of them, so you can really enjoy it. Okay, so ramen down and back at Sensoji, the lights are now on. It is fully dark and I am making the approach towards the Buddhist temple that was built in 645. So I think it goes without saying that it looks incredible and it was worth coming here after I waited for it to light up. And you can see the main gate behind me here, which I think is almost as impressive, hey? <laughs> he said Japanese people were shy. Um, I think there is a statue of Canon inside, although it's closed now, I can't go in. It's a bit late, unfortunately. It's around just gone 7 p.m. at this point. But if you come during the day, you might be able to enter inside itself and see it. And maybe one night you can come back and appreciate the lights if you have time. Well worth a visit, 
but now I'm gonna jump on the metro and make my way to Shibuya to see the famous crossing and soak in the evening atmosphere and I'm of course going to be showing a lot more Buddhist temples and Shinto shrines on this trip as we make our way further down south uh, so I will leave it here at Sensoji and head now onto the metro. Heading down now onto the Tokyo Metro and you can always buy a single journey ticket from one of the machines but I recommend that you get something called a PASMO card and it's just a card that you can top up and use not just on the metro but also on public transportation around Japan like buses and other metros in other cities but we've got to get across the city now it is around 50 minutes uh, on the Ginza line all the way to Shibuya so we're going from one side of Tokyo to the other pass my card in and off we go Okay, so metro journey complete and I am now here in Shibuya with the bright lights and all that's left for me to do is to hunt down the world's most famous crossing and perhaps busiest, the Shibuya Scramble. Okay, so seems like I have found it just over there. I've heard that at peak times, 3,000 people can cross at any one time. So let's uh, get over there and experience it. So I think it has to be said that this is the ultimate kind of welcome to Tokyo that you can get. Coming here on your first night after arriving and seeing all the bright lights and crossing here at one of the most captured places. Whenever you see a documentary about Japan or Tokyo, they usually always have a drone shot of all the people dodging each other as they make their way through the Shibuya scramble. Anyway, let's move through and explore some of the streets in this area. They look very exciting. This area of Tokyo in particular is giving me visions of a futuristic world and it kind of reminds me a little bit of Galactic City on Coruscant in Attack of the Clones where Obi-Wan and Anakin are, if you know you know. Food, bars, shops, and a lot of music and arcades and various places where they have pachinko, which is like a gambling thing. Very interesting area. Something that you'll see everywhere in Japan and in Tokyo is the meal sets being advertised are in plastic and they are so uncanny it is an art form and it's impressive look at all the different prices and options that you can see all done beautifully in plastic advertised shining outside the restaurants
Something that seems to be the norm here is to order from a machine outside in a lot of fast food, ramen or gyoza type of places. A famous huge mega store, Don Quixote here, selling all kinds of things. Seven floors of different brands and products related to Japanese culture. I could wander around Shibuya for hours and this video would end up being very long. I still want to go to Shinjuku which is also an area of a similar ilk to this. So let's head on the metro and head there before the night gets too late and the area dies down. Although I'm pretty sure Shinjuku will not die down. Uh, but it is a Tuesday night so let's not take any risks. Okay, so after jumping on a commuter train, which is part of the whole system here in Tokyo, you can use a PASMO card for it. I'm now in Shinjuku, but I need to make my way a little bit further to get to the center proper of this area, but already it's looking pretty exciting. Already you can just see the tall buildings and the neon lights everywhere you look here. It is 10 o'clock on a Tuesday night by the time I've arrived here and still things are open, it's pretty busy. <laughs> I don't know the name of this crossing, but this one is almost as good as the one in Shibuya, that's for sure. Even a train passing over there, it's enormous. And the volume of people crossing at 10 o'clock at night is something. And here we are, the main road okay. that gets down towards the center of Shinjuku. There we are, lots of neon lit side streets as well, off this main street here. And there is Godzilla. It makes me so happy to see it. I don't know if any of you are Godzilla fans, but seeing the beast in Tokyo climbing over the cinema there is just genius. So from what I know about Shinjuku, it is a bit of a party area, especially good for nightlife. Here in Tokyo, there are many bars and also there's a few clubs in this area too. So if you're here on a Friday or Saturday night, this might be an area you want to visit or even on a weekday. It seems like the flashy streets never seem to end. There's just so many of them and it's intense really. I think if you've never been to Asia before and then you throw yourself into Tokyo, you're gonna be just in awe. What a first experience this is. 
Shibuya and Shinjuku. Anyway, there's an area nearby called the Golden Guy, which has a unique look to it. So I want to see it. It's supposed to be a small area with lots of individual bars with no more than 12 people in each one and it's just next to Shinjuku here. So this is the Golden Guy. Each bar has its own distinct style and some of them have cover charges, others do not. I think just wander around, pick the one you like the look of and pull up a seat and grab a drink, maybe a sake, maybe a beer or something like that. As I walk through, you can get a quick peek inside the different places. Some have more foreigners, some have more Japanese people. It just depends. Some look quite homely and intimate, others more flashy and neon. And you make conversations, I guess, with the different people seated around you when there's only up to 12 people, most of the time just five or six in each place, then you're forced to talk to the people around you. So obviously the Golden Guy is an area that's just packed with character and really worth, I think, coming to just to grab a drink if you're beginning your night or even to spend the whole night here. This one has a horror theme. Sex is Chainsaw Massacre on the front. All spooky with red lights inside. There's also a couple of ramen joints in and amongst the bars too. So I had a drink in the Golden Guy. Unfortunately, the bar that I chose wouldn't really let me film much of the bar because they were concerned that I would get other customers in the shot. And so I only have one of the bar itself and also of me drinking in there. My first impressions of Tokyo have been quite something. You've seen the clips, obviously, if you've made it to the end, there is a lot to take in and we're only just getting started here in Japan. So stay tuned for the next video. It'll be another one from Tokyo, exploring a mix of sites, um, some more peaceful places like parks and shrines, as well as some more buzzing areas too. So thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.